Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my dear students. Welcome back for subject English class 7. Let's start once again. Grammar get. After completing chapter number 4 tenses, today we'll start chapter number 7 subject verb agreement. Now students, you know very well what is subject and what is verb. We have already learned in previous chapter, especially parts of speech. What are verbs? Main verbs, auxiliary verbs, this is all we have learned during learning parts of speech. So it's very easy, this chapter is very easy to understand what is subject, what is verb. Now here one very nice uh, exercise given to you. Look at everyone. Open your page number 17. Read the following passage. Underline the subject and circle the main verb in each sentence. Now you have to underline subject and you have to circle the main verb in each sentence. First I read the passage Katie had two pets Coco the dog and Caramel the cat two pets one is dog one is cat the name of dog is Coco the name of cat is Caramel they were fighting all the time who's fighting Coco and Caramel one evening however Caramel was in great danger means the cat was in great danger. She was almost run over by a speeding car. By a speeding car, she just ran over. Coco was nearby and jumped in front of the car. He grabbed caramel and ran across to safety. As you can see in the picture, that one car Who's going very which going very speedily that time this caramel was run over near this speedily car that time Coco the dog jumped in front of the car and he grabbed the caramel and ran across to safety caramel was hurt but her life was saved since then, Caramel looks up to Coco as if he was a hero. Means earlier they both were fighting very much. But when this Coco saved the life of Caramel, from that this Caramel looked up this Coco, the dog, as a hero. Now, from this passage, we have to underline subject and we have to find out the main verb and we have to circle it. So let's start. Catty had two pets. Now look at here Catty. Catty is a subject. Had is a main verb. Two pets Coco, Coco the dog and Caramel the cat. Now look at here, it's only given the name of dog and cat. So don't think that Coco is a subject and Caramel is a subject. No. They were fighting all the time. Now look at here, what's the subject here? They. And what is the main verbs? Here main verb is were fighting. Students, if you have still doubts related verbs, you can check the link of parts of speech and you can check their verbs one evening however caramel was in great danger caramel is a subject was is a main verb she was almost run over by a speeding car now look at here what's the subject here she was is a main verb almost run over now run over is also action is a action of cat 
So this is also mean verb by a speeding car. Coco was nearby and jumped in front of the car. Coco is a subject. Was is a mean verb. Nearby and jumped. Now look at what section of dog jumped. So it's also known as mean verb. In front of the car. He grabbed caramel. He is a subject. Grabbed is a mean verb. Is the action of he. Caramel. Caramel is an object. So don't underline as a subject. And rain across to city. Rain. Once again the action of dog. So it's a mean verb. Caramel was hurt. Caramel is a subject. Was hurt is a main verb. But her life was saved. Her life. Now look at. After hurt, comma. So another sentence start. But her life was saved. So her life. Her life means Caramel's life. So it's a subject. Was saved is a verb, mean verb. Caramel looks up to Coco as if he was a hero. Caramel is a subject. Looks up is a mean verb. Now look at once again, as if he was a hero. Once again, it's joined by as if. So it's another sentence. He is a subject, was is a mean verb. So students, here you have to remember that verb means it's a one kind of action. Or you can say that sometimes auxiliary verbs also use as a main verb. So students, complete this exercise with a pencil in your textbook. Underline subject and circle the main verb. Now look at here. The main verb in a sentence has a definite relation with the subject or noun. Yes, sometimes you can say subject as a noun also or sometimes subject as a pronoun. If he, she, it is there, so it's a pronoun. If subject, any person name. Suppose we have done before that the passage related catting, cocoa, caramel. These all are noun or you can say subject. It is also known as a finite verb. Finite verbs have to agree with the subject in number and person. The subject can be a noun, pronoun, phrase, children or an infinitive. Here are a few rules we follow. After we will see some rules related subject verb agreement. But look at here that your subject may be noun or pronoun. The subject may be number and person. So here, the subject can be noun, pronoun, phrase also, children also, infinity also. Now, according to subject, we have to write the verb. So for that, we have some rules. So if we will see, if we will follow the rules, then our sentence will be correct. According to subject, we have to write the main verb, helping verb, or you can say that auxiliary verb. So let's start one by one all rules. Try to understand all rules. Now look at rule number one. A singular noun or pronoun takes a singular verb. Now singular noun. Or pronoun we know that our sentence start with noun or pronoun so when you have singular noun or pronoun or you can say singular subject in a subject we will get noun or pronoun so if singular subject is there singular noun or pronoun takes a singular verb so that time you have to take singular verb because your subject is singular. While a plural noun or pronoun means if you have plural subject. So you have to take a plural verb. So students, what's the first rule? 
if you have singular subject so your verb should be singular but if you have plural subject so your verb must be in plural form now look at examples ramesh is a funny boy now look at ramesh is the name of one boy means as a singular noun so here is is also showing singular verb now r is a plural right here we have used is means is is a singular he always makes funny faces now look at here he he means one boy so is a singular pronoun mix is a singular verb now make make is showing plural verb so here mix is known as singular verb his jokes make everybody laugh his jokes is a plural noun jokes plural so make look at here this make is known as plural verb so students in rule number 1 we have learned that if we have singular subject maybe is a noun or pronoun so we have to write singular verb and if we have plural noun or pronoun so we have to write plural verb with this noun or pronoun now we move to rule number second now look at rule number 2 when the subject is a phrase gerund or infinitive or a clause it takes a singular verb now look at here it's a phrase or is a gerund or is infinitive now look at you have already learned gerund also and infinitive also in your six standard now i say you what is phrase and what is clause clause and phrase are not a complete sentence but they can say you can understand the meaning they are not complete sentence after phrase and clause you cannot put full stop because they are not a complete sentence so it's a you can say that it's a group of word two or three groups group of word but it's not a full sentence so that time you have to write singular verb now look at here laughing is good for health now is laughing laughing is so here is is a singular verb good for health to listen to music is my favorite pastime to listen to music is so here is a singular verb now to get rule number 3 the words each each one everyone everybody either neither anyone anybody somebody someone nobody no one are singular and therefore take a singular verb now you have to remember the each everybody now look at here everybody word is there means all but it's a saying one word everybody nobody either neither these words are showing singular and that's why we have to take a singular verb means it's a group and in a one word somebody anybody nobody everybody so is showing singular subject so that time you have to take a singular verb someone is now look at here someone is a singular so is you have taken as a verb singular everybody likes like 
is a plural form and likes if you add as means it's become your singular verb no one knows knows is a singular either of the two children is now look at here either of the two children means dono me se ek that's why here is either of the two children is a musician so that's why here is is a singular i hope students you got it i will move to rule number 4 rule number 4 with every each and many we use a singular verb before what we have seen seen each everyone everybody nobody either neither so with this we have to use singular here too if the word many is there every is there then also we have to use the singular verb every boy and girl goes now look at here the word every boy and girl here goes is showing singular verb many women many a woman has has is a singular verb and have is known as plural verb one many a woman has done wonders now look at rule number 5 remember to connect the verb to the original subject and not the phrases in between so here you have to connect the verb with the original subject not with the phrases in between so you have to see by writing verb original subject and according to that original subject you have to write verb in a singular form or in a plural form that time don't see the phrases which come in between the girl wearing the red bangles is organizing the event now look at here organizing is showing phrases but that time you have to don't see this one the girl girl is your original subject here wearing is a phrases so you have to see the original subject your original subject is the girl wearing the red bangles is organizing the event now here wearing is a phrase is the red bangles now look at here girl is a singular that's why here written is is organizing the event is is known as your singular verb the soldiers led by the commander march every day now look at here the soldiers is a plural form so here march is the action of the soldiers so is the verb is also in a plural form the soldiers is in a plural subject is a plural form that's why your verb is also plural march every day now look at students rule number 6 the phrase one of is always always followed by a plural noun and a singular verb the phrase one of now look at here when the phrase one of will come is always followed plural noun and singular verb earlier in all rules what we have seen that singular noun so singular verb but here if there is a phrase like one of that time it's a plural noun 
but you have to use singular verb why by using example I see you now look at here one of my friends look at your friends is a plural noun but here one of jitne friends hai usme se ek one of so ek word aaya means is a singular that's why your verb is also singular sings very well one of my friends that's why your sings jitne friends hai unme se ek friend so definitely is a singular noun but here friends we have to take so it's showing plural noun that's why with these we have to take a singular verb verb sings the plural word friends is not the subject of these sentence yes so actually it's not a subject jitne friends hai unme se ek friend sings very well so that's why here your verb is also in a singular form i hope students it's clear to you that that when there is a plural noun will come that time you have to take singular verb here plural noun is friends but it's not a subject so you have to remember that when there is a word like one of will come that time you have to write singular verb now we move to rule number 7 with the number of we use a plural verb means when the word will come like a number of we have to use plural verb with the number of we use a singular verb now look at all number of will come or number of that time plural verb and the number of will come that time singular verb so remember here or and the or number of with this plural verb and when the number will come that time singular verb for example a number of students now look at here students a number of students how is a plural verb appeared for this examination the number of students in this school grows each year grows is showing singular verb the number of students in this school grows each year and here a number of students have have is showing plural verb and grows is showing singular verb so students remember when there is a or number of that time you have to use plural verb and when there is the number of that time you have to use singular verb now let's move to another rules now look at rule number 8 some indefinite pronouns like some any none all may be either singular or plural with uncountable use singular and with countable use plural yes so sometimes when this type of word will come this type of pronoun will come some any none all so sometimes either is a singular or a plural so you have to remember that when there is a uncountable noun or pronoun will come that time use singular verb and with a countable pronoun use plural verb now look at here some milk has spilled over on the floor now it's a uncountable singular it's uncountable now look at milk you cannot able to count so it's a uncountable noun so with these you have to use singular verb has some of the toys are lying scattered on the floor some of the toys is a toys you can count somewhere is there 
but toys again able to count so it's a countable so with this we have to use plural verb are is is known as singular so here are you can able to count toys so here we have to use plural verb when you able to count that time you have to use plural form of verb when you when you not able to count when you unable to count that time means it's uncountable that time you have to use singular verb milk you cannot count is uncountable so you have to use singular verb now here also explanation given look everyone milk is uncountable therefore the sentence has a singular verb but toys are countable therefore the sentence has a plural verb now let's move to rule number 9 nouns like scissors glasses trousers shorts tongues and plural are plural now look at here scissors is already in a plural form glasses trousers shorts tongues are plural and take a plural verb these things have two parts yes scissors has two parts glasses has two parts trousers has two parts so they have two parts and they are in a plural form so that's why you have to write the subject also in a plural form these trousers are too loose for me so here r is a plural verb the scissors have to be absolutely sharp scissors have is a plural verb now look at students rule number 10 words like mathematics economics and gymnastics are used with a singular verb yes is a name of one particular subject or one particular thing as is already there with that things is like name so that time it's used with a singular verb so that time you have to use singular verb don't think that as is there means is a plural form no is a singular and we have to put a singular verb mathematics is you cannot say are my favorite subject is is mathematics is a name of subject it's not a plural form is a one subject name so here singular verb will come gymnastics has become a popular sport in schools has is a singular verb now let's move to next rule number 11 words and phrases used for indicating an amount of money or distance time take singular verbs even when the subject may be plural now look at here words and phrases which use to indicate amount of money time distance so remember students when it's used for the amount of money time or distance so it takes singular verb one and a half hours now look at here one and a half hours is showing plural but it's a time so that's why is will come is look at here is a long time to sit still so it's a singular verb 20000 rupees is rent for this house now look at 20000 rupees is showing money amount of money that's why here is is a singular verb so when there is a amount of money will come time and distance that time you have to use singular verb now the last one today's rule number 12 collective nouns refer to a group 
that is taken as one and go with the singular verb. You know very well what is collective nouns? It's showing a group of things, group of animal, group of birds, group of people. So that time is showing one as a one group. So that time you have to use singular verb. The flock of pigeons flies. The flock of pigeons, group of pigeons flies. That's why flies is showing singular verb. Fly and flies. F. So why turning flies into singular form? You have to remove Y and you have to put I E S. Flies. Singular verb. Across our building every morning. The team of crickets is landing on Friday. The team of cricketers is a group of players is known as team. So is a group that's why we have to use singular verb. So students I hope that these 12 rules are clear to you. Keep in your mind will while solve the exercise so you can easily solve this exercise if you keep all the rules in your mind now let's move to exercise the following sentences are incorrect we write them using the correct form of the verb now we have to follow all 12 rules while rewrite these sentences here you have to focus on subject and verb. Now look at here. Each of the flowers have a different fragrance. Now each word is there. Each of the flowers. Now we have seen in a which rule? We have seen this in a rule of 3 and 4. Rule number three and four, we have seen that when there is a word like each, each one, everyone, many, uh, everybody, either, neither, that time you have to use which kind of verb? Singular verb. Now look at here. Have a different fragrance. So have is showing plural form of verb. So here what will come? Singular form of verb will come. So, in place of have, you have to write has. Each of the flowers has a different fragrance. So, students, in your textbook, at page number 73, you have to write the sentence as an answer. Each of the flowers has... A different fragrance write full sentence don't write just has underline have and write full sentence using has in your sentence now look at number two though many passengers were in the bus no one were injured in the accident though many passengers Passengers is a plural subject, so were is the correct one. With a plural subject, plural verb will come in the bus. So this sentence is correct. After comma, look at no one were injured. Now we have seen in rule number three that when the word no one, nobody, someone, somebody, this type of word will come. So with this, singular verb will come. So war is showing plural form of verb. So here was will come. Was is a singular form. Though many passengers were in the bus, no one was injured in the accident. Now look at third one. The violin player together with the cellist and the concert. The violin player together with the cellist and the concert. Now look at here. And 
you have to write the singular verb so here ants will come ants the violin player singular noun singular subject so that's why verb also action to and that concert to do and is a action is a verb that's why violin player is a singular subject singular noun that's why your verb should be singular a school team never lost the swimming competition our school team collective noun so what will come here lose loses l o s e s singular verb because school team here team word is showing group of students group of people so when group of people is showing means it's a collective noun so for that you have to use singular verb now look at fifth one one of my friends like bungee jumping one of my friends you have seen when the word like one of that time you have to use singular verb this rule we have seen rule number six this is a rule number six so when one of word will come that time you have to write singular verb likes i hope students it's clear to you so once again you check your all the rules you can easily get all the answers now look at six number physics have never been a favorite subject with raj you have seen in rule number which rule number we have seen this that mathematics physics gymnastics this type of word will come that time we have to use singular verb we have seen these on rule number 10 so here physics how so in place of how singular verb has will come physics has never been a favorite subject with raj now look at seventh number every one of the members refuse to speak up against the vote every one of the members refuses now look at which word come here every so when the word every will come that time you have to use singular verb so here refuse is an action don't think that members is a plural we have to focus on the word everyone so here everybody is there that's why here refuses will come refuses now students do this 8 9 and 10 yourselves find out the mistakes from these sentences and rewrite it in your textbook i hope students this topic is very clear to you it's very easy read once again all the rules try to understand all the rules listen the video again and again and learn very well and do this three eight number nine and ten yourself if you have seen any doubts you can write in the comment box thank you and have a wonderful day